live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18, live from Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We're joined by Raja Ranganathan. He is the Vice President of Cloud Services at Cognizant Technology Solutions. I should say, welcome back. Now, it's not just welcome, it's welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, Rebecca. So tell us, tell our viewers a little bit about Cognizant Technology. What do you do, what does your company do, and what do you do there? Okay, so I had the uh, cloud, uh, services for Cognizant in the capacity of a vice president. Cognizant is a world leading uh, professional services company. Our objective is to help our clients to navigate the shift to digital. So we have three pillars, you know, go to market, you know, we have a Cognizant digital business, you know, which uh, focuses on the user experience, data related, and we have the Cognizant digital operations, which is predominantly a middle office, back-end processing in an enterprise, and the third pillar is Cognizant digital systems and technology, which is basically modernizing the platform systems that is required to you know, create the digital foundation. Okay, and you're also, this just this week, be called a, a certified global partner of ServiceNow. So, so explain, explain how that works. Our relationship with ServiceNow goes back like six years, right? Um, today, I think, um, this ServiceNow line of business, which is under the cloud services, is one of the fastest growing business unit for us. Um, the key thing in any platform such as ServiceNow is, the human intellectual capital, right? So that is where we gave a lot of importance, okay? While technology is created by ServiceNow, someone has to go and execute and implement the technology. So that's where we spent time and started uh, hiring people, reskilling the people, and then get them certified across the different facets of what ServiceNow rec recommends as a part of the education system. So today we have about 850 plus certified people across the globe. And uh, we also do the delivery across our uh, global operation centers. We also call it as RDCs, regional delivery centers. We have one in Budapest, one in uh, uh, Phoenix, and one in Buenos Aires. So all these three centers cater to different um, service areas of service now, right? So. As a part of this RDC, we also adding, um, creating an experience zone. A service now experience zone. So when client walks in, they don't, they not only see our associates, you know, working on projects, but they also get the panoramic view or the panoramic experience of how service now orchestration happens, how automation happens, you know, how HR module works and things like that. So because of the people we have in terms of reskilling and certification, we have been adjudged as the best uh, overall global partner award in uh, yesterday in uh, Knowledge Well, congratulations. Thank when, you. When you were searching for, for these people, I mean, as you said, you had to do a lot of hiring. What were the kind of skills you were looking for when, okay. when, when you were trying to find the top talent? Top talent. So if you look at Cognizant as a 265,000 plus organization, right? We know the art of hiring people, right? Uh, we have all the best practices. And it is an art, it absolutely yeah, it's an is art, an right. art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, our approach is, uh, one is we go to the campus, uh, hire the fresh grads you know, out of the campus. If you look at off late, the kids that are coming out of the campus, they are pretty smart in the sense like, you know, they come with the latest uh, tech, digital technologies, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, you know, natural language processing, understanding and things like that. So we take them and then we, within 30 days, we completely format them for service now. This is one approach. The second approach is we go to the lateral market and we hire and we bring them up to speed on the service now related technologies. The third option is with 265,000 people we have, the raw material is inside Cognizant. So we take people from other, um, uh, what is a business units, other uh, domain, and then try to format them and then do that, right? Um, but off late, what we have started, uh, especially within the US uh, uh, 
footprint is uh, we go to all the community colleges and also we go to all the veterans um, association veterans uh, you know uh, those type of organizations and we hire them so if you look at uh, our phoenix uh, rdc it is i'm proud to say that it is a women powered uh, delivery center when it comes to service now with a pretty good mix of veterans Okay, so these are the different approaches we use to hire people towards the service now practice. And they've been successful. They have been successful. And uh, if you look at how long, I mean, can they continue in service now for till they retire? No. So we do job rotation. Every three years we give them opportunity. Um, I have a unique advantage since I run the cloud services. I always rotate my people from ServiceNow to go to Amazon or to Microsoft as you're in different technologies. Every 24 to 36 months we do do the job rotation. In that way, I think, you know, I'm managing my retention, you know, well. So we know that the role of IT is really changing in, in so many organizations around the world. What are, you, what, what are you hearing from customers? What are their pain points? Okay. What are the challenges that you're trying to solve? I think that's a great question, uh, Rebecca, right? We are in a very interesting time, right? And uh, the customers have, tremendous problem in their hand because they need to stay relevant in their business because business models are changing, right? And if you look at, for a retailer, the competition is not from the same industry. Similarly, for a pharmaceutical company, the competition is not from the same pharma industry, right? Everybody wanted to know, a pharma company wanted to know why Google is hiring 100 physicians, <laughs> right? So the disruption is going to happen not in your industry, outside your industry. So that is the biggest challenge, right? The second thing is, they, they need to continue to reinvent the business model. They cannot operate. We are, we are hearing many stories like, you know, a uh, lot of retail stores are closing because they didn't stay relevant to the business, to the customers, right? The third thing, if you look at, let's take a healthcare uh, industry. Typically, patients expect, you know, historically, the, they were asked to ma maintain their prescription and medical records. But today, the, in the new age, patients are expecting the hospitals to manage everything because keep the data and intelli intelligently apply the data, right? Because data is the new fuel or new oxygen, whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> fuel, oxygen, one of, the, one of those analogies. Yes, right. So, Data is going to be play a critical role for any business, right? So every business is looking for how do I take the data and apply intelligently in the process, how do I elevate experience? When I say experience, it's both customer experience and also employee experience. So that's why if you look at, going back to the purpose of service now, when John Donahoe was presenting in the keynote, he said we are in the world, you know, to make people's work better. Right? The work is basically the experience. Right? So we know about all the digital, I mean, every client is adopting the digital because, because of the advent of the cloud, you know, and the technologies around that AI, machine learning, etc. Everybody is having a clear charter of the digital uh, transformation charter as a part of their enterprises, right? So that is where we companies like Cognizant, we go to them and then, you know, help them and truly being digital, how do you get there? That is where technologies like ServiceNow plays a critical role. And so, and so th it, is, it is the mission of ServiceNow and it sounds like also the mission of Cognizant to make the world of work work better for yes, people. Right. So give me some examples of ways that you are creatively solving employee headaches. How okay. are you making the world of work better? Okay, so I'll just give, I'll give a couple of examples. To start with, right, um, for a leading, uh, what do you say, a manufacturing company, they have a lot of equipments um, distributed, dispersed across the field. So we use uh, IoT technology sensors and we collect the data and the data gets uh, analyzed and uh, you know, and then we give a dashboard to our customers. Uh, when I say customer is the chief customer support officer, he or she can look at the dashboard and send the technician for any wear and tear, right? So instead of, imagine if if the cloud was not there, and if, and moreover, we use ServiceNow as a platform to do all the orchestration. 
If the cloud was not there, if products like ServiceNow was not there, this could have been a humongous you know, uh, task. But we are helping the problem for the customer. Today, with one click, the chief customer support officer can know which machine is giving which problem accordingly dispatch a technician, right? This is one example. The second example is, we are helping um, some agricultural companies, you know, uh, where, uh, in fact, we, this came out uh, during our hackathon, which I will talk about to you a little bit later. Um, all these agricultural farms, the lands are there, right? I think when you wanted to grow something, you also need to know every day what is the moisture of the soil, what is the temperature, etc. So we apply IoT technology and then you know collect the data and use ServiceNow, you know, dashboard to you know uh, give it back to the customer. This, these are all real-time problems you know the customers are facing, right? Like that, like I, there are so many examples. But if you look at most of the the solutions and the and the outcome, what we give it to the customer, it's all triggered by our innovation. So. We are the only company, I can proudly say, you know, with you, conducted three hackathons with ServiceNow. When you say hackathon, all the people are put under one room and then, you know, ideas were given and end of the day, you know, you'll get like 100 plus ideas. Recently, we did a, about a month back, we did a global hackathon. First time, we wanted to try. India, at three continents, seven cities, India, Budapest, Phoenix, 20 hours of, you know, continuous time, right? We generated about 115 ideas. Now, out of the 115 ideas, right, I think we are going to convert certain ideas and then put that back into ServiceNow App Store. We have close to six plus apps already running on the ServiceNow Store. Now, our plan for the next six months is to add another about 10 plus apps you know, onto the ServiceNow Store. Well, that is the other, the, the, the question that that begs is, are, are hackathons the best way in your mind to, to sort of spark energy and innovation and, and especially creativity? With the, especially with the millennials. The millennials, yes, definitely, because they don't want to do a very uh, mundane, routine work. They wanted to, they want a challenge. They're asking for challenge, right? So this hackathon is one of the ways to keep them happy, right? Because the future of workforce is changing, right? And uh, with millennials coming in and, uh, you know, so the jobs are, they're also expecting, in fact, even in my team, every, people wanted to change every 12 months, right? So we got to, while, you know, we need to address our customers, we also need to take care of their expectations also, right? So let's let's think about the future a little bit now. Where, where how do you see, what do you see your customers' future demands, and where do you see Cognizant and ServiceNow being able to provide solutions yeah. so to the, the problems they don't even know they're having? Yes, you're right, right. So, so digital is the heartbeat. So when I say digital is the heartbeat, the outcome is it's all about experience. Because if someone asks me, digital is not technology. Digital is all about experience, right? So in order to give that experience, customers wanted multiple technologies, you know, they wanted to reinvent, rewire, rethink their business models, right? So that is where we wanted to go as a cognizant, right? For example, if you take ServiceNow, if you're taking that platform to them, how can I digitize your enterprise process, digitize your entire workflow and create automation, et cetera, and then bring a collaborative work environment within your ecosystem. So this is what they are expecting, right? Every, nobody wants, uh, uh, you know, unvalue, non-value add, uh, you know, mundane task. Everything they wanted to get operated, operated in an automation manner, right? So that is where we are helping. Basically, anything that changes the experience or gives a wave a new way to the experience, that is where we at Cognizant, we are constantly reinvesting on people, process, technology, and then taking that back to our customers. It's a great note to end on. Raja, we'll look forward to seeing you again at Knowledge19 next year. Thank you, definitely. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have more of theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge18 in just a little bit. Thank <laughs> you.